Hi everyone, Andre here for another episode of Rain Training. This week we're gonna be focusing on lower body power. All right everyone, this week we're focusing on lower body power. Uh, so a big way that you can focus on that is incorporating jumps into your program. So it's really important for hockey because you should be strong in your lower body and in your legs like we focused on a few weeks earlier, uh, but you also now need to take that strength and produce it quickly. So that's what's gonna transfer more over to being a little bit faster, but you still need that base level of strength first. Uh, so this first one we're gonna do here is a box jump. One thing to be important when we're doing a box jump, the height of the box, uh, a lot of people think we wanna build it up even higher and higher and make it more difficult. Uh, you actually don't really want to do that. The whole point of a box jump is it's just taking out the amount of force you absorb when you land. So it should be at a comfortable height uh, and you're just focusing on landing nice and soft on top of it. So 18 to 24 inches is really the highest we'll ever do with our players in here. Uh, so Paul is going to demonstrate for us here. You start facing the box, arms are reaching up nice and high. He's just going to come down, up and jump as high as he can, land on the box. Go for it. Jump. Stick. Good. Come back down. When we're doing this though, also try to focus on landing a little quieter. So the quieter the landing, the more you've actually absorbed. Give it a try again. Up and nice and quiet. Good. So you're just sticking in that athletic stance when we do a box jump. One last one. Jump and stick. Good. Perfect. You can hop off. So that would be our level one on jumps. Next one. Now that we've gotten a little bit better with box jumps, you want to be able to perform uh, things more repeatedly. So instead of doing a single effort, like a box jump is, we're gonna do a repeat jump. So what you're gonna do here, Paul, hands are just gonna be on your hips, and you're just gonna string jumps together up and down. Let's go five in a row. Whenever you're ready here, go for it. Good, touch and go, touch and go. And relax, good, perfect. So you're trying to be nice and quick off the ground when you're doing those, and being good at stringing them together. Uh, the last one we can do here is a lateral bounce. Now this is sideways. This will be a lot more specific to hockey. So you're going to jump off your left leg over to your right as far as you're able to and string that back right over to your left. So let's go like three on each side here, Paul. Arms. Yep, arms are going to work as well. So we're here, push across whatever direction you're going, your arms go that way. Yep, on you. Push, nice. Good. There we go. And as you get more comfortable with it, string it a little bit quicker. Yeah. Perfect, and relax, good. So that'd be a way to get it a lot more specific to hockey, uh, but we first wanna be able to produce force off of two legs, like a box jump, then be able to string it together off two legs, like that repeat jump, and then move to something more single leg, like that lateral bound. Uh, so just something that you can include in your programs, typically like we've done with med ball throws, uh, we want power stuff to be at the beginning of our workout so you're less fatigued.